The church has been celebrating a lot of martyrs these days. Justin on the 1st of June, then Marcellinus and Peter, and then 22 young martyrs of Uganda. And today, we celebrate St. Boniface, known as the Apostle of Germany, who was martyred when he was 80 years old. You're never too old to witness to the faith, are you? Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I can't help thinking that we celebrate so many different martyrs of every time and place because we need examples of courage. Do you remember a book that John F. Kennedy wrote? He won a, the Pulitzer Prize for it in 1955, Profiles in Courage. That's what the martyrs are, Profiles in Courage, people who show us that there are things important enough to die for. In fact, that's what our nation was built upon, the belief that injustice should be rejected, and that there is truth, there is right, and there is wrong. Our nation's Declaration of Independence said that we hold certain truths to be self-evident. Throughout history, people have believed that holding on to physical life means nothing if it means denying the truth. And around the year 700, St. Boniface went to the Germanic peoples with the truth about God. He knew he could be killed at any time for opposing falsehood. He once wrote, let us continue the fight on the day of the Lord. If God so wills, let us die for the holy laws of our fathers, so that we may deserve to obtain an eternal inheritance with them. Now that's a profile in courage. Are you willing to follow his example? Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.